What's going on YouTube, West Toppies RC? I wanted to do a quick video on my settings for the Radio Master TX16S with the Align T-Rex 470 LM. So I am running the Micro Beast receiver, or fly barless unit, I'm sorry, and I am running a DSMX satellite. I don't know if you can see it down in there, but yeah, so I'm running a... Uh, an FPV satellite with long antennas. I have them run on each side through the frame. It has been a flawless setup. It has been rock solid, zero signal issues. It's been fantastic. But I had a few people ask, can I share my radio settings or how did I set up my TX-16S to work with the T-Rex 470? So I'll let you in on a little secret. I made one template um one file that i set up when i first got the radio and that was all my throttle curves pitch curves everything and then i went in one thing i really like about the open tx software platform what you can do with it so i went in and just copied in every helicopter i have 11 helicopters programmed to this radio all 11 of them are on the same initial template that i set up i went back in and changed a few things here and there percentages of throttle curves and you know, adjusted pitch curves and the name and stuff, but the majority of the programming is all the same for all of my helicopters. So as you can see, my home screen is nothing special. Picture of the 470, four minute timer. I have, that's it, uh, you know. So let's go into model. Of course, up here, my, uh, what's it called? Uh, internal RF is on multi DSM X 11 seconds, 11 milliseconds. So nothing special there. Nothing flight modes, nothing special. Okay, here's where it is. Inputs. A lot of people put this under mixes. I like it under inputs. There's a hundred different ways to do this. It's whatever works best for you. This is what I found was the easiest in the way I learned how to do it. So aileron elevators, normal 100%. Now on throttle, I went to throttle. I push and held it, hit copy, drop it down. And I did that four times. So as you can see, I have four throttles here. First one is my hold. You don't have to put that one first. I just like it first. That's how I did it, and that's just what I do. So hold is first. That is going to my SH switch down. Now, I reversed my two switches. So out of the box, this is a momentary contact switch here, or two-position switch here, I'm sorry, and your momentary contact is here. I've flown flying helicopters for a very long time. Every radio I've ever flown with a helicopter, hold is always on my right side. Stunt mode's on my left side, and that's just the way I could. I can't learn it the other way around, so I just took the radio apart. Very simple, very easy. Switch to switches around. So anyway, so I got my throttle hold first, and then my throttle normal with normal mode. Throttle one, which is idle up one. Throttle two, idle up two. As you can see, SE up, SE middle, SE down. Again, to this switch right up here. Idle up to normal mode. And then I went down to gyro. So in gyro, I pushed and draw, held it, copied it three times. One, two, three. I went to max. SE up, SE middle, SE down. Again, gyro is to my flight mode switch. So between the different head speeds I'm flying, I can adjust the gyro. I started now... I started with higher numbers. This is where I've ended up after my, you know, first like 15, 20 flights that I've had with this radio on the 470. So I'm at 55% in normal mode, 48 in idle up one, 40% in idle up two. Now pitch, again, dropped it three different times. Pitch normal, pitch one, pitch two. Now let's go over, oh, wrong way. Okay, here I made a gyro and a rudder just so you can see an output and then just named it gyro and pitch. Sorry, wrong way again. Okay, curves. So hold mode is a negative 100, negative 100. Two point, that's it. When I flip hold, kills it. Throttle hold. Straight line. Throttle normal is a five point it's a zero, 100, or a negative 100, 35 flat line. Throttle up, idle up one is a seven is a five point curve, 75% flat curve. Idle up two is a flat 
5.100 across the board. Pitch normal is a negative 30, negative 10, 12, 52, and 100. Idle up one for pitch or pitch one is a linear negative 100, negative 50, 0, 50, 100. Same thing with pitch two. Negative 100, negative 50, 0, 50, 100. My last curve is my dead band curve. As I explained in my M1 video with the TX-16S, I like a very sensitive helicopter. I don't like the dead band around middle stick. So I created a dead band curve, which is just a negative 100, negative 8, positive 8, positive 100, four point curve. You add it to your elevator, aileron, or rudder, whatever you want it to. It eliminates the dead band. It is fantastic. I absolutely love this curve. But other than that, it is a very simple, very simple uh, thing, you know, set up, nothing special, nothing crazy. I hope this can help somebody. Take care. Have a great day.